think it's about time that we get into the dark side of Aquarius, which happens to be my moon sign, so let me roast myself. Aquarius is ruled by the planet of Uranus, and I'm not talking about your booty hole. That is the planet of unpredictability, rebellion, and detachment. This planet spins clockwise into retrograde, whereas the other planets do counterclockwise. So we can already begin to see what a lovely sign this is going to be. And Aquarius always thinks they're right. And even when you prove them wrong, they're still right. Honey, they are a fixed sign, so you ain't swaying them one way or the other, and that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Aquarius tend to be emotionally stunted. They simply don't have the capacity to care about you or your problems. They are stubborn as fuck. You try to enlighten them, they'll be like, who the fuck are you? I think it's in everybody's best interest to understand that an Aquarius does not need you. They could literally be stranded on an island and given the option of having people there with them, They'd rather be alone. Remember Tom Hanks and that volleyball? He was probably an Aquarius. An Aquarius is always, always chasing the next high and they will do whatever it is to obtain that, even if it means bulldozing you. Shit, an Aquarius stays testing themselves. You don't think that they're gonna test you? You be like, my boyfriend dumped me. And they'd be like, what did you do? This sign needs to be free at all costs, at all times. They value their independence. So if you're in a relationship with an Aquarius, it's because they want to be there, not because they need to be there. They trust their head more than they trust their heart, which is probably why Aquarians aren't typically in dramatic relationships. I ain't ever met a codependent Aquarius. They don't exist. And even though an Aquarius stays in their head and they're thinking a lot, they ain't thinking about you.